Good day everybody, Hans here, and welcome back to another episode of our Stardew Valley, our history talk forum, where we play Stardew Valley and talk about history, all at the same time. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget to yell at your screen. Also, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the channel, as well as if you have any history questions, leave those down in the comments below. Last week, we covered the Crusades through Europe. Today, we'll be talking about the evolution into 21st century. To begin with, though, we have to look at how the world is shaped today. The history of that shaping. We'll be looking mostly at the new European empires of the 16th century who fundamentally change society. Got some grape wine. Nice. We got some still corn juice. We have melon vine and grape vine. And it is raining. So that's great. We can sell one grape vine. Yes, I'm saying vine. We need to make more vine. So we'll use some cherry vine. I actually really want some cherry wine now. Ooh. We got our first beer. That's nice. No, we need that, but that. You know what? Let's do another cherry vine. And that cherry cranberry. Ooh. That'd be interesting. Alright, so everything is going well. Ooh, we can harvest. Well, that's nice. We actually need that wheat. So is there anything else that can be harvested? No, not on this place. Ah, there's a few coins. Nothing else there. Ooh, data lines. Good. Ooh, and more coin. Good, good, good. Ooh, that lagged out. That away. Put the sunflowers away. The wheat away. Put the sunflower seeds away. Sell all the other crops. Alright, I think that's good. And I think it'll be time to go into the mines. So let's see. Oh, that's already built. Oh. Well, then, what happens if we... Ah, we do get hay. Okay, so we can harvest all this. Good. We actually need to do that. Because when the win uh, winter comes, all this hay will go away. Everything dies, basically. So we do need as much hay as possible for our animals. There you go. We cut down all of the grass. We'll leave some patches to grow back on the southern part of the farm. This is a good thing too. We do definitely need to clean up the farm. Alright, 
So, as you Jack, since the fall of Rome, there have been no empire based in Europe, which extends outside of the European continent. It was heavily focused on Europe. Such a shocker. Both, and the reason can be said is that there is no economic reason to expand. There's no economic sustainability to expand. There's no military, there's no common law grounds that would allow that type of change. But it was more actually, mostly technology and economics. Also, unlike Rome, well, when the Roman Empire fell, Europe got itself spread out with more dominant powers than they had before. That being said, before is Rome and the Gauls and all that, and Romans had a technological advantage, and that's why they succeeded. And it'll be about the military, which we never really talked about, but one day we might. So much hay. That's good, we need all this hay. I'm not sure how much goes into the thing. Seriously, we have a lot of hay. Look at this. Oh, we cannot grow anymore. We'll not grow. Cut down. So that is fine. So let's go to morning and get some animals. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I fail. I go this way and then over this bridge. The situation changes abruptly in the 16th century when Spain and Portugal became pioneers in the new era of colonization. So, what does that mean? Well, it, what happened in 1492? Well, Christopher Columbus sailed the great ocean blue. Looking for some supplies. We want to purchase some animals. Deluxe coop. A big coop. But we get some chickens. Juice a coop for the brown chicken. Name the new animal. Gootsy turns into goats. Yes, chicken is goats. Great, awesome little goats to a new home right away. Oh. Purchase animals. Chickens. A new brown chicken. Tuco! Buffy! Okay, I'll send a little Buffy to her new home right away. What? Giggle. Supplies. So we can get a heater. We can get a milk pail. Shears. Uh, we'll get this. We need that. Oh, you don't need hay. There you go. So the heater will, of course, be for winter. And that is spending money. We spent a lot of money. That is a okay. We can. Now then, let's go put the heater in the chicken coop. And then look about the upgraded coop. I didn't see that. Maybe we have to build one first. Or I was just completely early blind. Which is always a thing as well. So let's see. <gasps> let's look at the babies. Oh, babies! The lashy little baby chickens! Aww. Buffy, age one month. Buffy seems a little curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Oh, we can change home, we can sell them. But not that much. Baby! You know, I have no idea how to make them happy. Hmm. Let's close that. Don't let the babies out. We miss Pierre. That's fine. We'll really not do any more farming for this season. But let's go check out the rest of the house. 
But yes, yeah, so uh, as we said, Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That meant when he found it, the new world, quotation marks, new world, of course, is already explored before. Um, construct farm buildings. Coop. Barn. Well. Silo. Mill. Shed. Cabin. Ah, big coop. Comes with an incubator. Unlocks ducks. 400 wood. 10,000 gold. Stone. Ah, okay. Heard. So we can dismantle what we have. Heard. Okay. Let's upgrade the house. A nursery. Oh. 50,000. Oh. Oh, he says. Oh. 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 Exactly. 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 Eggs. Exactly. Exactly. We can incubate, which is okay. Oh, something just fell. To the 90th floor. Ow. Hey. Oh, he died. One hit. We get combat boots. Three defense. Got yeah. I'm not as good as the boots already have. Yay, money! Money, money, money! Yay, money! Nice! But yes, so as we said, when Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue, he found the new world which gave new territory for the Europeans to go explore, take over, and conquer. And they could do that without needing to fight against competition. Which was the main reason. It was a lot cheaper, a lot less deadly to go after the European, uh, the, excuse me, the New World population than it was to fight the fellow Europeans. So one reason why they explored. And this will lead to the founding of brand new empires. Yes, empires. First one we'll be looking at is the Portuguese Empire. Oh look, there's two ways down. That's wow, we're getting super lucky. Holy shit! I say that. Ooh, wow, he dropped an iron bar. Okay, slimes die. Fire crystal! That's actually what we needed. A strange what? This is a strange bun. I do not. Oh, what was that? Okay, strange bun. Cooking. What's inside? 100 energy, 40 health. Odd, to say the least. Odd, says the hunts. Wary, says the hunts. Come on, there has to be a way out. Come on. There it is. Uh, that's a floating thing. That's kind of freaky. And we do need all this gold. We also need a lot of copper too, so. Ooh, another strange bun. Yeah, that is strange. Oh, we got diamond. Cool. How much do you think diamonds sell for in this game? If you have found them before and I didn't pay attention to what they sold for, I do apologize. Oh, in this game, that's a high possibility. Come on, let's get our way out. Nice, I say that. Topaz? Well, let's... 
So weird. Gundam can tell us about the fire course. But the fire course does complete one of the bundles? No, wait, I think we finished that right, didn't we? The vault. No. You know what? I think we've actually completed it. Oh god, uh, that scared the shit out of me. That literally scared me. Hey, way down. You know, I think we completed the boiler. Oh god, ah, creepies. Nice, a bomb. I was actually looking for that. Pull the way down. Let's go. Got a few things done. Wow, we're laggy. Okay, the Vian Peninsula is well poised at the time for this leap into the other note. Why do historians say that? Well, look geographically where it is. It's on the edge of Western, Eastern. No, Western Europe. Wow, I get those confused. I do apologize. How terrible am I? The only other nation that's as far west would have been Iceland, which had already went over and sent people over to the New World, but also Ireland, but that was being fought over by England, so England would be the next one. And then France, eh, eh, not as close, had a little bit more farther to go, but still they could have colonized, and they did. That's right. We will be discussing and looking at all the different I'm trying to think, sorry guys. Uh oh. The hunts is thinking and it's not working too well. Why we'll be looking okay, so while looking at colonization. Oh, I want the gold. Where did I put the gold? There we go. No! Mm. There you go. Hey, we're sleepy. Hey, we're sleepy too. Why, we'll be looking at Portugal, Spain, France, and England. And this examination of the colonization. Uh, should get us through the rest of this season, hopefully, of season one. We'll see. The first is going to be Portugal, the farthest west of the nations. Hey, it's still raining. That is fantastic. Really long cold, so it is raining. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. That's fine. But it's still raining now. So much gold. That stuff is still growing. Oh, look, we got some grapes. No. No. That away? I was just looking at sorting to sell some stuff. Gold will give us some gold. Gold is, of course, the highest value. But nothing to problem. Let's just go back to mining. And try and get as far down as possible. And finish the mines out. Yep. 
and as you said, Portugal will be the first one to be examined. In the Great Voyage of Discovery in the 15th century, the Portuguese had developed ocean-going skills which are eagerly copied by the Spanish neighbors. Spain's internal conflicts of recent centuries have recently been resolved with the Union of Castile and Aragon, and then in 1492, the conquest of Granada. So Granada, as we looked at the second campaign of the Reconquista, finally was conquered by Spain in 1492, 300 years later. Two voyages in the 1490s, as we talked about, for the future empires, Columbus sailed west from Spain, stumbles upon America. Vasco da Gama, venturing south and east for Portugal, reaches India in 1498. So that starts close to the first circumnavigate of the world. Wow, that was close. Taking us out. Good the way down. Hey, green slime. Interesting. I don't think I've seen a green slime before. Hey, more fire quartz. Let's see, hopefully this just lets us get down south. Whoa, come on. We took a lot more damage than we should have. I got some exceeds. Nice. Oh wow, we really lost out there. Let's see if we can get more of that fun cake. Also, that would be perfect time for a bomb. There we need a stone, there we go. Oh wow. Alright. We got down one floor easily. Hey, there we go. Two floors down. Anything down this way? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, way down. Nope. We're getting cold from slimes. That's odd. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Honestly, I'm being honest. I don't think I've ever had a slime drop cold before. I basically finished day. I actually got to the bottom of the mines in my other playthrough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was trying to see what that gave us. Oh, hello. So much gold. Again, which is actually pretty good. Interesting that they dropped that stuff. Ooh, max 8 defense. Uh, let's not leave the mine. Though looking back, I might want to stay there and get all that extra coal.
Let's eat just in case. Get some energy back. Oh god, that's not good. Oh god, the way down. Ha 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 ha! Hey, we got star fruit. More energy. Look at energy going up. Nice. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of history. Maximum energy has increased. So we went down. Let's just leave now. And you're a little fish. Alright, so for the Portuguese, from 1508 to 1595. This will be looking at the Eastern trade. So, why? The probable trade in Eastern spices is cornered by the Portuguese in the 16th century to the determine of Venice, which had previously had a virtual monopoly of these valuable com commodities. Basically, Venice prospered during the Crusades when they were the only ones that had a good trade route. From east to the west, uh, because the Europe, not Middle, the Middle East, the Middle Eastern mm -hmm. empires and nations controlled the trade from India and China through the Middle Eastern Suez Canal, which was not built yet, so but that type of location, so you had to pay heavy, heavy taxes to go through that area. Oh God! Whoa! 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 My mouth. Okay, my mouse is just not cooperating there. That was weird. Hey, we found a Wally. A normal Wally. Cool. Uh, so, Venice had a uh, monopoly on it. It had taxes and it was making a lot of money. Uh, the Western nations wanted access to to the valuable goods of their own free will, and it would have been cheaper if they had control. So, they sent out routes. Uh, let's actually get to it. Now, until now, brought overland through India and Arabia. As we said, by establishing a sea route around the Cape, that's South Africa, Portugal can undercut the Venetian trade with its profusion of middlemen. The new route is firmly secured by Portugal. By the activities of an Alfonso de Albuquerque. God damn it. Who makes up his news as the Portuguese Viceroy of India in 1508. Portugal controlled India first. Wow. The other explorers of up east coast of Africa have left Portugal with bases in Mozambique and Zanzibar. Albuquerque. Okay, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh god, okay. Ah! Yay! Oh, it's a largemouth bass. Hmm. That's new. Okay. Perfect. The Wally. The early explorers up the East Africa coast have left Portugal with baits. Okay, so set. Yep. Extends the secure route eastwards by capturing and fortifying Hormuz at the mouth of the Persian Gulf. In 1514, Goa on the west coast of India in 1510, and their own Goa for a pretty, pretty long time. Oh my god, wow. Hey, we got a bone flute. That's interesting. Well, next episode, when we go see Gunther, we have some new goodies for him to tell us all about. And Malacca, guarding the north narrow west channel of the route east in 1511. Now Bombay is ceded to the Portuguese in 1534, and early Portuguese presence in Sri Lanka is steadily increased. And in 1557, Portuguese merchants established a colony on the island of Macau, Macau, which they controlled, and that's in China, 
up till around the 20th century. You know, Portugal will lose its empire. This is the foundation of the Portuguese empire, as with sailing technology allowed them to explore and sell further, they also had reasons and became profitable in doing so. Okay, last fish. Oh god, it, why, why did my thing go shooting? Okay. The beginnings of the Portuguese Empire, though, and their bold exploration along the coast of Africa have an underlying purpose to sail around the continent to the spice markets of the east, but in the process, they developed a trade interest in the lasting presence in Africa itself. And they were control a good presence in Africa up to the 21st, no, 20th century. Excuse me. All the Europeans really lose their empires after World War II because they can't afford it anymore after the destruction. On the west coast, the interest is in the slave trade. Some of the Portuguese settlements in both Guinea and Angola. On the east coast, they are drawn to Mozambique and the Zambia River by news of a local ruler, the Mano Hapata, who has fabulous wealth in gold. Now, slavery was big in Africa before the Europeans got involved. Uh, there's a big slave trade from Africa east through the um, Middle Eastern nations who employed a lot of slave labor all the way up to um, not Eastern Europe, but Western Asia, and into some Eastern Asian nations as well, as well as through uh, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. But with that, the Portuguese started the slave trade for the West. Now, there was still some slavery beforehand as well, because, I mean, Africa was very close. Like, Mediterranean is only separating distance. So there was slavery throughout Europe in some form or fashion, but the slave trade began in earnest with Portugal's establishment because when they came to the West, they needed a lot of cheap labor very, very quickly. And the best way is, of course, well, they thought the best way was slave labor. Slavery is very, very, very wrong. But that was one way to deal with the solution of a shortage of manpower. Okay. Throughout. Wow. We're going to get any fish there. Alright, let's go. Let's just drop off some of the fishy fishies. So we actually can, I think. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, into the community town hall. I think I just went there very long gray. Yes, I did. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I did do quite a few fishings. Alright, let's see. And then through. Eat! Okay, let's see. What about the fishy fish fish? Okay, let's see. We need strugan, which we don't have, but we do need a large amount of bass, which we do have. Tilapia, tuna, red snapper. So really not that much fish. Ooh, wine, rabbit's fruit, pomegranate. Nope. We do have this, though. Except for the apples. Got some of that. Ooh, we do have a chub, though. Cool, again, something's done. And we could spend money. We could spend a lot of money here. 
Let's do it. You get 30 quality fertilizer. Cool. I mean, why not? Why not? Get the buses up and going. Now, throughout the 16th century, that's 1500. Hey! Oh, grapes. No blackberries. Talk about grapes, I think I can give some gifts if anyone's at the bar. Ah, there's a few people here. This is a really nice kit. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I know, we're very sweet. Let's go back. Time to go back. Back is black. And throughout the 16th century, the Portuguese have no European rivals on the long sea route around Africa. The situation will change in the early 17th century when both the Dutch and the British create East India companies. Ooh, honey! God dang, that we pop the thing. Seriously, though. That is annoying. Alright, that's good for today. And damaging the Dutch in particular with damaging to the yeah, Portugal's east, eastern trade. So, with the 17th century coming around. Oh, hello. Pickle by Troy. Uh, let's see, any vegetables that can still be pickled. Pickled eggplant? We can do that. Actually, we have a big selling of goods. So, with uh, Portugal showing how well the trading can be and how profitable, Spain, England, and Dutch, which is kind of surprising that the Dutch would be involved, but with such a small nation, they couldn't really expand. Cut no wise, they had to go outside. Portugal will suffer and have to find new, unique ways to expand their empire. Thus, that concludes our next episode of the Stardew Valley History Talk Forum. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like again. And if you have any of your questions, leave those down below. Next episode, we will continue the Portuguese expansion and the colonization by looking at Brazil, the first nation of the Western hemisphere and yeah thanks for watching guys till next time later alligators peace what 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 okay but what I have a 5 HP. I'll take that. Ooh! Gold makes money. Gold makes... <laughs> wow.